Hey reefers, after about a year, we're doing something really important on the reef and that is cleaning up the electrical. It's kind of important. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Don't, it, don't judge, please. <laughs> judge, we know it's a mess. <laughs> so our solution so far has just to be piling electrical, on top of electrical, on top of electrical, on top of electrical, big spider web mess and double it. Yeah, you, you bet where it is at the moment. It it's has been for a while. Yeah, it's pretty horrendous, and like, it makes maintenance very hard. So we're about to tidy it up. Where does this plug go? Where's this one? Exactly. Causing a few arguments. We got inspiration when we were at Reefstock. Cade had a new cabinet coming out to put all their electrical in, and we had a cabinet sitting next to the tank anyway. Uh, it's a nice one from Ikea, it matches the furniture in our room. So we thought we'd modify that instead and make it into half electrical and half fish storing cabinet. So because there's so much stuff you need to store when you have fish tanks, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So we've got one on that side and we're going to have one on that side as well. So lots of storage, it just needs to be organised after we organise all the electrical. So let's get into it and see how we go. Gordon's being organised, he's getting all the tools that we'll need. We've also got miscellaneous label makers, cable ties, cord stuff, velcro, everything you could possibly need to tidy up cords. Okay, so we've got a power board set up so we can plug stuff into as we unplug it. So the main thing that we're going to start with is we have an, a strip of eight plugs, that's what we're going to mount first into the new cabinet. So on here at the moment is mainly the lights and the wave makers. Gordon's just taking the Red Sea Reefer door off now. Just so. to make life easy for us, because you know, everything's here and everything's going to be there and doing this continuously is going to be a pain in the, you know what. Gordon's losing screws. Drivers. As you can see, our current labeling system has a lot to be desired. So we're just labeling all the cables just to make our life a little bit easier going forward. Um, we're temporarily pulling things out of the main plug here, uh, just putting into this power board here, which goes past Han and plugged in over here, just so we can start cleaning up in here. Commences the big untangle. And in the process, we keep unplugging and plugging in the apex, which turns everything on and off. Yeah. As you can see, this is how bad it's gotten. They're actually dusty. But it's free. This is the power cable to the wall. We're going to mount the power bar with some L brackets and we'll have to drill some holes in them. At the bottom of this IKEA cabinet is paper thin, so using self tapping screws just wasn't going to work. So, we're about to go with bolts that are going to go all the way through to give us a little bit of st stability on the brackets. So, part one power board mounted, excuse the hole at the back. So, Darren's just cleaning up the hole in the back just to make it look a bit neater, a bit tidier. Um, unfortunately, we didn't realise this $500 IKEA cabinet was so thin and crispy. <laughs> um, so, I'm using an old technique 
to reinforce the hole. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Don't ask. Don't tell. All the power bricks for the lights are in. Still lots of cords. All turned on on this side. And now to deal with this mess. We decided to put our controllers in a totally different spot. Just this bit to go. All right, so our next little issue we came across was we had to get all of this cable mess and that into here. That was never gonna work because half the cables weren't long enough. So we've decided to put that power board for the apex in here, run the cable through to the main power board, which is there. It's not gonna eliminate having all cables in here, but it's gonna make it nice and neat because it's now mounted up against the back wall there. All the cables will be off the ground. Um, the, the L2 controller will be mounted up here somewhere, out of the way. Uh, which would leave us room for the dose pump to go sort of there-ish somewhere and our dosing tube tub thing is to go down here. Not quite exactly as we'd planned, but it's still going to work and still going to look good. Improvisation is the key today. Yep, yep. We're, we're not DIYers. We try our best. It's not perfect, so those with OCD look Sorry. away. Sorry. But it's a... I think you can all agree that it's a lot better than how we had it originally. And my OCD can handle it. So if mine can, yours can. <laughs> feels really good to finally untangle that rat's nest full of electrical. The outcome has been better than I expected, which is awesome. And it's definitely gonna be a lot safer and less of a fire risk than it has been for the last 18 months. So it's a win-win. Yeah, win-win for everyone. We'll be able to do maintenance a lot easier. It's just gonna make everything, well, it's just gonna make me feel better about the tank, so. <laughs> and not be ashamed when people say, oh, can we look under the tank? No. Yeah, yeah. And it'll give us room to put our doser on. So that's coming up soon as well. So if you've enjoyed today's video, like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty everyone. Bye for now. See you guys.